Netflix silently cancelled Meghan Has's deal due to content drought after giving it free to Oprah. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been warned about their Netflix deal after a royal expert pointed out the couple gave away content. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry signed a lucrative deal with the streaming giant to host and produce content, estimated to be worth around US$25 million, US dollars, £18 million, in late 2020. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex gave away a lot of content for free to Oprah Winfrey in their bombshell interview with her, royal expert Angela Mollard has said. Speaking to the Australian morning show Sunrise, Ms Mollard said, they in a sense gave away for free to Oprah a lot of content. They've told her a lot. So what exclusivity does Netflix have if they were to do a documentary with them? I think if you were the boss of Netflix you would be thinking, am I getting the money worth with these two? Voicing a couple of documentaries is really not cutting it. There has to be an alignment of brands and I don't think that's happening at this stage. It comes as Meghan and Harry are caught in a mess with their fly-on-the-wall Netflix documentary, a royal expert has claimed. The pair reunited with senior members of the royal family for the first time since Megxit during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend. But the royal couple's Netflix plans were dismantled when Palisades stopped them from taking photos with the Queen. Royal expert Russell Myers claimed that officials were absolutely against images amid claims the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are working on a Netflix documentary. Speaking, Mr Myers said, the Queen did get to meet her great-granddaughter Lilibet. There was no official photography being placed but the reports were that Harry and Meghan did want their friend Miss and Harriman to come and have a picture with the Queen. Of course, that would have been a nice family moment but the palace was absolutely adamant that it couldn't take place. You can't blame them because Harry and Meghan are still rumoured to be doing this fly-on-the-wall documentary with Netflix. It's all getting quite messy. Harry and Meghan's relegated seats were a telling sign of their change in status. Far across the aisle from the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Harry and Meghan sat in the second row, behind the Wessex family and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. Prince Harry has told how we all have greatness within us and that mental fitness helps unlock it in a brand new video. In his role as Chief Impact Officer of Better Up, he has carried out a series of interviews with Olympic gold medal winning snowboarder Chloe Kim, psychologist Adam Grant and Better Up member Blue Mendoza. Harry said, we all have greatness within us. Mental fitness helps us unlock it. It's an ongoing practice. One way you approach your mind as something to flex not fix. I want to introduce you to a few people whose stories can inspire us in our own growth through mental fitness. Harry, who stepped down as a working royal two years ago, has been open about his own mental health challenges in the past. Throughout the years of traveling around the world, what I saw was the similarities of experiences of trauma, of loss, of grief, of being human, he said in the video posted on BetterUp's website on Tuesday. That building up of resilience is absolutely critical. Harry dubbed Kim the queen of snowboarding and asked her, is there a day-to-day -day thing that you do for your mental fitness? What is your secret? Kim replied she used little reminders, such as telling herself she was doing her best. The Duke asked Grant, what goes into your own proactive practices? Grant replied that he did non-negotiable exercise six days a week, with Harry remarking, six days a week you work out? And joked, I can tell. A chuckling Harry told Mendoza they might have the same mental health coach when she spoke of the need to thrive through the day, rather than survive. It echoed remarks made by Meghan Markle during the couple's Africa tour shortly before the Megxit crisis.